Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Apostle Helena Horsley, the pastor and founder of the Church 247 in the city of Wilmington, California. I just wanted to take a moment to just let everybody know it's really time for the saints to gather together in prayer. You can do it in your home, wherever it may be, but see God during this time. Uh, we're in a time of great transition. Things will never be the same. We have crossed over to a new time in the spirit. Things will never be the same. So when we're with God, God always gives us the victory, meaning we'll have opportunity to get closer to Him. So a lot of these transitions with um, many things that we are experiencing in our families, in our churches, around the globe, in our cities, all over, just know that God already had prepared us before this. If you weren't prepared, I'm sorry. But for those who were prepared, you understand that God is doing some aligning. He's aligning his people up correctly. And if we really know the warfare that is taking place, this is a time for the Antichrist. Although the Antichrist is already here, but they want to be able to operate in a, a greater capacity. So like the book of Daniel talks about the kingdoms, and there was a kingdom of iron and clay. Well, this is the kingdom that wants to truly take over. But because the Lord had already established his kingdom, his kingdom is without end. So that means that you have to perform on a kingdom level. It cannot be based on empire, personal church. No, we have to link up into the things of God. He is our king. And we have to link up into what he is saying, not for, uh, not for social status, not for agreement with other people, because God called us a nation outside of a nation. So it's not expected for us to be the same. But I just want you to understand, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, whoever you are and wherever you are in the world, you need to know that God is calling his people to be in another place, another level in him. So there's going to be great warfare for your soul and for your mind. So God does not want us in fear. First of all, he has not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. But had you heard from the Lord a while before all this have taken place, you would have been prepared. But for those of you who weren't, I'm sorry, but I just want you to know, be in the place of prayer. See what God is saying to you individually, to you and your family. God is doing some great and marvelous things. He said those that will be strong, they will do the exploits of the Lord. So it's going to be the time for casting out demons. Fear has been put in the people. So their imaginations are dark right now. And it's given access to demonic spirits. And so I just want you to know that it's going to come a time for greater elevation in the realm of the spirit and so things that have been dormant are going to be more bold right now and so the saints of god have to know that god is calling you for an extra level of boldness so that means we have to seek god in prayer and we have to ask him to give us the courage so expect to go through persecution and suffering like we have been and god has delivered us out of them all but be encouraged because god is with us not only is he with us he has his whole head his whole host of heaven that are here with us as well. And all the saints of God that love God and heard him in the spirit, they are gathering together and they are really bombarding heaven for what the Lord wants us to do because we are to stand and see the salvation of the Lord. But at the same time, be in the spirit of truth. You have to be armed with the spirit of truth because if not, you're going to fall like the world. He called us in the world, but we're not of it. So there is something we have to know the difference. You cannot celebrate Jesus in the flesh. You must know him in the spirit. So it's time if you have not, if you have not walked in change, it's time for you to walk in change. If you have not walked in kingdom, it's time for you to walk in kingdom. He comes to give us the kingdom. We pray, let your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So I'm praying for you. We're praying for you. We expect God to do what only God can do. We can't expect man to do what God is made to do. We can't expect other people to do what the church is meant to do. He said the gates of hell shall not prevail against his church. 
And so we are depending on God, waiting on Him with expectancy and knowing that He's going to strengthen us during this time. So be encouraged. Be encouraged. So whether you're opening your beer churches again, whatever you may be doing, whatever the Lord has told you to do, be in prayer. Pray not for yourself alone, but for the whole body of Christ. We need it. It doesn't take a bunch of people. Gideon only had 300. So don't worry about the amount of people. Just understand who's with you and who's not. God bless you. Talk to you soon.